Gamers, it's time to return to my roots with a new hardcore series. I'll be focusing on what I love doing most, creating unique and interesting builds, but of course we need to get our footing first. So, let's get started. Alright, let's switch that bitch to hardcore. Fire tick off because I love building with wood. And as for the seed, I have no idea. Just don't ask me. And, uh, yeah, that's it. What in God's name, where the hell am I? Oh, we're actually in a mangrove swamp. What the hell? Dude, this has got to be the weirdest location I've started in. What? Dude, this place is literally denser than a jungle. Oh my my god. All right, let's jump down and get our footing. All right, and the first thing I'm going to be making is actually not wooden tools. I'm making a boat because I want to get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god, are we free? We are free. Jesus Christ, man, sunlight. But I think I will actually go ahead and chop down a couple of trees here just to get, uh, you know, the essentials done. All right, there we go. There's our full stone tools sorted. I'm not even doing the generic Minecraft YouTuber freaking time lapse, you know. Every block breaks to the bead or some shit. It's been done a million times, okay? I'm getting sick of it at this point. All right, our food is starting to tick down. So I just mined some cobble. Let's make a furnace real quick and cook up some of this juicy meat right here. The next most important thing is going to be finding a couple of sheeps to sleep through the night because, uh, yeah, this is probably the most dangerous time. So let's pray. Oh, Oh, yes, there's actually one right there. Hell yeah. Okay, there's one. Oh, thank God there's a couple more sheep here, actually. All right, there we go. There's all of our wool. Let's make that into a bed and bang. So that's pretty much the main starting stuff all done. Uh, pretty much in record time as well, I believe. And hopefully the next clip will be me finding an absolutely incredible location. Okay, no amazing location found yet, but uh, it is nearing the end of day one. And I have spotted a couple of interesting locations. We've got a jungle over there. We've got a dark wood forest as well. I think I'm probably just going to uh, hang around here for a little while and sleep to the day and I'll probably meet you guys over at the jungle. Okay, here we are at the jungle and uh, yeah, the main thing I wanted here was some bamboo and thankfully I did just find a single stalk of it, which is kind of weird. And this is going to be very helpful for making scaffolding. Ooh, okay, bit of an update. We found a cave entrance here. Ooh, there's actually a lush cave down there. Do you see that? Dude, those light rays are absolutely incredible. That looks so nice, dude. What the hell? And that leads down into this lush cave too. That's just, it's so scenic out here, man. Oh my god, that is lush. AF. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's also a freaking mine shaft thing up there too. Okay, before we do that, let's quickly set up shop here because iron has been pretty plentiful. Oh my God, there's even more over here. So I think what I'm going to do is smelt all of this up, make a full iron armor set and a couple of iron tools as well. So I'm going to get that sorted right now. Oh my God, that should be shiny. Look at that. You can see the furnace reflection in it. That's that's pretty cool, actually. What the hell? Bingle, bangle, bongle, dingle. There we go. We are now fully kitted out, boys and girls. Holy crap, dude. Record time. We're only on day two. Wait, we're on day one. What the hell? I thought I slept to day two, huh? But yeah, there we go. We're now equipped to take on the caves. We've got our full iron armor set and a couple of iron tools as well. So let's venture out and hopefully find a couple diamonds. That'd actually be pretty neat. Oh my god, dude. This area is massive. I'm gonna mine as much of this iron as I can. Dude, there's even more down here. What the hell? I then went on to find our first diamond in a minecart and continued on through the caves to find even more. We ended up getting pretty lucky here. Dude, the amount of effort I put in to get this diamond. Jesus Christ. It better be more than one, I swear to God. Oh, well, man. You have got to be kidding me. Alright, I think it's a good time to end off the mining trip now. We're starting to run low on food, but here's my overall haul. So, I'm going to uh, play it safe and dig up to the surface from here. So, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys up there. Oh, and here we are, finally up at the surface. So, now I'm just going to keep adventuring and trying to find a nice plains biome to settle down at. So, yeah, I'll probably meet you guys there. Okay, I do apologize. Um, yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble finding a nice location in this world, but I, uh, I spotted this tower on top of this hill over here, which, of course, leads to a village. So, let's Let's go check it out. Any goodies for Daddy Disruptive? Hello? Oh, some spuds? Okay, we'll take it. Oh my god, there it is. Finally, a freaking plains biome. Yes! What the hell is that? Let me get a, a bit more of a better vantage point. Oh, okay, and here we are. Jesus Christ, dude. That area is expansive, man. But as you can see over here, a quite interesting area, I might say. It's like a hilly plains area. But then if I do a 180, Bang, look at that area. That is quite nice. Oh, there's a cherry blossom biome over there too. Okay, I've actually sailed over from the uh, mainland that I found over there and over to here as, uh, you know, I'm in search of a pretty flat location to build my starter base. And this spot right here is uh, pretty much the perfect spot. So as for my starter base, I'm going to need a lot more materials. So I need to make a uh, starter base for my starter base, basically. Dude, I said base like three times in that sentence. So let's dig a little tunnel in here and just make a, uh, a bit of uh, underground data starter base, you know? Let's get our first diamond tools crafted up. 
Oh, I'm going to be doing a lot of tree chopping, so I think an axe is honestly going to be worth it here. Okay, we're going to be needing a, a lot of resources for this base because, uh, yeah, at this point, it isn't really a starter base. It's basically just a, a base. Now, nowadays, you can't get away with something that crap on YouTube, so you got to make uh, basically a mansion for your starter base at this point. So we're going to be needing a lot of oak wood and also spruce. I haven't seen a spruce tree in uh, quite a while, so that might be a bit of an adventure. But yeah, it is time to start the uh, resource gathering time lapse uh yeah right now so the first resource on the list was oak wood for that i simply headed into the nearby forest to gather as much as i could for spruce i had to venture quite far and luckily found a few standalone trees i could gather saplings from so i chopped them all down and quickly returned home back home i planted those saplings to grow into giant spruce trees and began chopping i plan on using this spruce wood for the pillars of my starter base the final resource i needed was cobblestone and a lot of it so i dug a small mine shaft until i hit a giant cave and then just quarried out a bit more stone here. Okay, with all of our resources obtained, I am now trying to decide whether I want to make our base here or over here. I'm kind of leaning to this spot now, just because we only have this one layer of grass here that we have to remove, and then we have this massive flat area. It's going to take a while, but uh, at least we're going to have a good supply of dirt left over. So yeah, I'm going to get started doing that right now. So the reason I needed a bunch of cobblestone was for these circles I needed for my base design. The only purpose for them is to keep mobs out, and that's about it. They just kind of look cool to be honest. All right gamers now with our three rings completed it's time to get started on the house so I don't know where this like sudden burst of energy just came from but um you know we're just gonna roll with it but yeah oh dude the one thing I wanted to make was shears I wanted to pick up this grass with shears. god damn it um just give me a second I'll be right back. All right I'm back and I've cleaned up this area because that uh, yeah this is where we're going to be adding our actual house. All of these rings here are going to be containing our farms and such which we'll get to later on and I think what I'm going to do is maybe make a house that kind of conforms to this half of the circle here. So we'll start our first pillar off right here and let's just pray that that lines up. Yes, it does. Sweet. And now we need to kind of add pillars that'll conform to this uh, semicircle shape. So just give me a second. I'm going to get that figured out right now. Okay, I think that layout's looking good. Now I'm going to go ahead and just raise all of these up to, uh, I don't know, maybe four blocks high, I think. Um, so yeah, just give me a second. All right, so there is the, uh, you know, the base layout of all of the pillars. I think we will actually add on a second floor to this just because I think it needs it. But for now, let's pencil in the walls a little. So this is what I got the oak wood for. I feel like it works really well against uh, some spruce wood. My friend Extra Builds actually said to try out stripped spruce logs instead of just regular spruce logs. So let's see how that looks. Might just strip this whole section just to have a goose. And uh, let's also strip these as well. And yeah, that does actually look pretty nice. I don't know. Should we go with this or should we go with unstripped? I feel like I like the contrast of the non-stripped wood against this, but I can really appreciate that this would look pretty nice here as well, you know? So thanks Extra, but um, uh, yeah, not this time, idiot. All right, now as for this middle strip that I left out. Of course, we need some windows. So we're going to go with Old Faithful, a couple of stairs. And uh, thankfully, I've pre-prepared some uh, glass panes here. We'll slap those in right there. And what the hell? Hold on. I need to fix that real quick. Oh, that is so much better. Holy crap. My next video will actually be, uh, you know, a tutorial for these brand new glorious shaders that I'm using at the moment, along with some extra mods like, uh, you know, connecting these glass textures up together. So be sure to subscribe for that video as it'll be coming out quite soon. For the door, of course, we will, uh, you know, just have something like this with some stairs. And we'll slap that in right there. And there we go. There's our doorway added in. Now, I don't really know how I'm going to do these like diagonal shaped ones. I will probably just uh, go ahead and uh, leave out the windows because it's not going to look too nice, I don't think. So I'll probably just fill them in completely with blocks like this, which is fine anyway, because it gives us an area to work with on the interior so that we don't like, you know, block up the windows because it gets kind of annoying having to work around like windows like this as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to continue filling in these walls and I'll be back in just a second. All right, there's all of our walls done. If you're wondering why I'm so far away, it's because I actually came up with an idea for something on the front there. Instead of just having our stairs, I think what could look nice is maybe having some azaleas there. So let's go ahead and just place a moss block right here and we're gonna bone mill this and uh, we're just gonna harvest up a bunch of azaleas like this. Oh my God, that one gave us so many. What the hell? Okay, that should be good enough. Let's head back. All right, and so my idea is to replace these stairs here with some planks instead. And then let's have a uh, piece of dirt here with an azalea on top. Yeah, that does look kind of weird because it covers up basically <laughs> half of the freaking window. So we might just have to plant them like that. Yeah, if we're doing it this way, I reckon it's going to look better if we fill out the whole window like that. Oh my God. And of course there's the rain. Yeah, we'll just replace all of those with blocks there and we'll plant azaleas in. And yeah, that's looking pretty sweet. Let's also just go ahead and place some lanterns on these little uh, knoblets. 
Jesus Christ, man. That, that was so close. What the hell? <laughs> oh, actually, because it's storming, that means we can go back to bed. Yes! Good night, gamers. Okay, and yeah, that's looking pretty good so far, but yeah, I think we definitely do need a second floor on this bad boy. We could even add, like, a balcony here and maybe some balconies on the sides. I reckon that would look pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started doing that right bloody now, mate. Alright, now, of course, it's gone in bloody f started raining again. Sorry, I don't know why I just started talking like that, but um, basically it just makes the time lapse, uh, you know, just kind of to look at. So we're just going to continue on in, uh, you know, the old first person perspective. So right here, I'm adding a, uh, you know, a secondary balcony thing on top of our balcony, you know, more so just like a little rain protector, I guess. Just something like that. Pretty cool. This is how it looks from afar, you know. Oh my God, that's a big, that's a lot of zoom. Now, as for these little sections here where we've got some dirt, I just want to go ahead and place a couple of flowers in there. And uh, we got a, a little bit of a wild patch over here, so let's just grab some. All right, I spent way too much fucking time trying to find the stupid, dumb fucking blue flowers, so we're just gonna go with something like this instead, you know, the old faithful red, blue, yellow. And then on this side, we got the white theme. Let's take a look from afar, and yeah, dude, that's looking pretty good. It's a bit annoying that that is uh, very far off-centered, but you know, what can you fucking do, mate? Okay, so that's basically, uh, you know, the first two floors done. I, of course, need to get some more lanterns. Let me do that right now. Fucking Jesus, mate. All right, and there's our final two lanterns on. There we go. And yeah, as you can see, we have these nice two, like, balconies on the sides. I don't really know what I'm gonna do here. Probably just, that, uh, you know, leave it as it is because not much room there, but yeah, you know. So now the final thing, pretty much, of uh, the base part is the roof. And uh, we'll get started doing that as a time lapse right bloody now. So for this roof, I decided to go with my signature curved design. Always looks great, and I also employed a little bit of a dormer design as well. Oh, mate, and that's, yeah, that's basically it. That's all the exterior pretty much done there. Uh, well, you know, except for the actual rest of the exterior that I've uh, basically completely forgotten about. But I think before we get onto this, I do want to get started on the interior in here because, uh, yeah. Oh my god, dude, I've forgotten to strip so many pictures of logs here. Uh, yeah, I want to move out from that little, uh, crappy base over there and, uh, actually get everything in here. So I think what I'm gonna do now is just replace all of this floor with some, uh, oak and, uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, get straight into building the interior. Uh, just give me a second. All right, we're back. We've added in the goddamn fucking floor in here, mate. Now it is time to start adding in that, you know, all of the uh, interior sh** in here. So, first up, I'm thinking right at the smack bang in the back here, we're gonna add in our, uh, you know, what's it called, staircase thingamajiglet. Then we can... Oh my god. I forgot about this back area here. How are we gonna get around this, eh? Shit. All right, I have instead opted for a, uh, a bit of a ladder instead of a staircase, just because I, uh, I've spent way too long trying to figure out where to do it, basically, and yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Second floor access sorted out. Uh, I don't exactly know what we're gonna do up here yet, but we're, yeah, we'll figure it out, okay? All right, so this back area is going to be the old bedroom. So we're, of course, gonna slap our bed in there, and I think I actually want this to be a three-wide bed, so I'll be back. Um, yeah, I gotta go get some more wool. <laughs> okay, and we're back with a couple more beds. Let's slap those in. And now beside the beds here, we've got a bit of room to work with, so I reckon we could just add a couple of, like, little tables. Now, along the top here, we're gonna do the signature barrels. Okay. All right. Now I think I actually want to change these again. Okay. I want to make them into maybe let's do a couple of composters and I'm going to have to grab some leaves. I'll be back once again, mate. Okay. I'm back with some bloody leaves. Let's chuck those in there. And I reckon on top of these for now, just some lanterns will be quite nice. Now, as for a little uh, thing to hold these barrels up, let's do something like this. And then, uh, you know, just something like that. You know, it's sleek. It's simple. It's effective. It always works. It's nice. Okay. What else can I say about it? I don't know, but I think that's quite good. All right. Now we have a couple other areas areas we need to get to. Of course, we need a crafting and storage. Now, I've made a couple of chests here, and I don't exactly know where to put them. I'm thinking right here is going to be a pretty nice spot for just a bunch of, like, just double chests like this. Next up, crafting. I want this to be pretty close to the main storage. So I'm thinking over here. And that's all I really got in the means of uh, crafting blocks at the moment. We will, of course, add some barrels at the top. Uh, it's going to look a little strange. Okay, let's leave them out here. Maybe just make this area the crafting area for now. And for now, just, uh, so, you know, so this crafting table isn't lonely, we can just put a couple of stripped logs there. And uh, I'm completely out of uh, lanterns. I would like to add one on there, but I'll go and grab that later. I don't really have anything else that I can think of um, to add in here at the moment. 
moment. Oh, except for actually furnaces. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab some crap and I'll meet you guys back in there. Okay, we're back now. Let's chuck in some goddamn lanterns in there and hell yeah, that is looking quite good. Now, I think in this little area here, it could use a uh, another indoor house plant. So let's slap one in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's slap one in right there as well. Okay, I don't want it to be too high. All right. And now as for our smelting area, let's just slap in some furnaces like that. What else could we add on top of here? Maybe like make it into kind of like a kitchen, I guess. Pressure plate, button. I don't know what they're supposed to be. I want the button to be this way. There we go. Uh, you know, I, 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 just a hot plate and some other decoration. I have no idea, but yeah. There we go. That's an interior. That's looking quite good. It's very simple at the moment. I think we're lacking a rug right here. A nice red rug. There has been a sheep walking around here. Where is he? There he is. All right, I'm going to go. Uh, okay, there's actually a couple more sheep here. Sweet. Let's shear these bad boys. Okay, there's all of our red carpets created. Let's go ahead and add these in right here. here. Actually, I want three more. Thank God we actually had enough. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's basically the interior solved for now. Next up for the exterior, I need to make a couple of fence gates. Right, there we go. Let's add those in there. So now we are completely mob proof, which is pretty sweet. I do also want to add in a little bit of a pathway. And now it is time to get on to, uh, you know, the main part of the exterior here, which is going to be the uh, farms. I do actually really want carrots for this as well. I want wheat and carrots. And so to get those, what I might do is venture back over to that village that's over there. I uh, hope and pray that they have some carrots and then I'll come back here and you guys will probably just see me uh, You know as a time-lapse just start uh, filling in all of these farms. So yeah, let's get started uh, right now All right So I just went on a trip to that village and unfortunately they didn't have any carrots at all So my next idea is to go ahead and adventure down into our mine shaft and down into that giant cave that I found before Actually, I want to get a bucket of water before we do that All right So yeah, I want to go ahead and put a water bucket here because uh, making a staircase down this is going to actually suck like giant balls so we're just gonna do that so we're also gonna pray that we find a mine shaft because that's the only other real way that i know of to get carrots other than that uh, you know just a rare drop from zombies oh my god dude it goes even deeper down here what is down here there's a whole nother sub layer here as well oh my god oh okay and i <laughs> did not expect to just find some diamonds and a little green boy here as well get the hell away from me yeah i did not expect to just find some diamonds laying around jesus christ okay it's only one but that's a that's a whole shovel dude and that goes a long way okay and we got some cave fog as well i've got to turn that off there we go that's a bit better that's easier to see okay there's probably gonna yeah of course there's diamonds god damn i really do not want to go down there okay actually there is a mine shaft we do need to go down there so that's okay let's head back up grab some bloody dirt and i'll be back all right we're back down i've made a little um abomination here but dude there are so many diamonds everywhere look at it there's even one down there christ on christ almighty above mate also why is it so dark it is very dark in here and there's a lot of freaking skelly wags. Oh my god. They are doing some damage. Okay. Time to... Oh, shit. Okay, we're actually in danger here. Okay, let's recuperate. Let's mine a tactical diamond here. Oh, okay. There actually is more. Thank god. I just spotted another one over here. I need to go get it. Oh, dude. That was risky. Jesus Christ. Okay. One, two. Oh, dude. Oh my god, it keeps going. Dude, you need to fuck off right now. I'm I'm too I'm busy. There's another one here. Oh my god, okay. I don't know why I get so like excited over diamonds still. I'm like a 12-year-old kid, but <laughs> shit, dude. Nine diamonds? Dude, it is so dark. What the hell? There's diamonds up there. Is it really worth it? Of course it is. Who do you think I am, mate? Jesus Christ. Dude, there's even more under the <laughs> I didn't even see that before. What the hell? There is so much down here. Although I am starting to get worried because I still have not found a single carrot yet. Oh, okay. We've just found a chest, please. Oh, no. But oh, we did find a name tag. That's pretty cool. Ooh, oh, my God. Even more diamonds. Okay. We're up to 20. Jesus Christ. Okay. But still no carrots, man. F oh, my God. More diamonds and another chest. No fucking carrots. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch something now. It's evolved from crying. Dude, what the there is so many diamonds in this fucking place. Four! Five! I don't know why. I'm I'm on the verge of tears right now. <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, there has been no carrot luck, but um, we've had some pretty serious diamond luck. We're going to be able to make a full freaking suit of diamond armor in the first episode of the series, which is kind of insane. Um, let's evacuate the premises, and I might have to Google how to find carrots easily, because I don't know. Oh my god, please tell me that is carrots. 
Oh. oh, dude, I have found two whole separate villages, and I just stumbled across this one, and Jesus Christ, thank God. Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm leaving these guys with absolutely nothing left, okay? I'm also going to see if they have any juicy, juicy loot for me as well. Get out of the f***ing way, kid. I need to see if your parents have got some shit in their house. They don't, okay. Right, and literally none of these houses have any chests at all. I'm going to steal your freaking brewing stand and I'm going to leave. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back at the base. I honestly have no idea which way I need to go. I think it's that way. Uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back there and I'm going to start uh, farming and planting all of this stuff. Uh, so I'll meet you guys there. All right, so the first step was to get some water under the wall so the farms can actually grow and I had to do this for each circle. And the next step was to simply wait for the crops to actually grow. Okay, and now while I'm waiting for my farms to grow, I'm going to go ahead and start decorating the rest of, uh, you know, our area here. So what I thought would be pretty cool is having, uh, you know, these two sides actually have some uh, useful blocks for us so that we don't actually have to go inside the base every time we want to, you know, craft or do something. And I think having a pathway of gravel instead of the same pathway would look pretty cool. So I went and grabbed a whole bunch of that and I'm just going to make a little bit of an area here and let's just start filling it in with some gravel. Okay, so on this left side here, I'm thinking maybe a crafting table, smithing table and a barrel would look pretty cool. can also slap a lantern on there too. And then on on the other side over here, let's, uh, you know, just add in the same gravel thing. And over here, let's add in a grindstone, a stone cutter, and then also an anvil, um, which we obviously don't have enough iron right now, so uh, this is just going to be a placeholder log for the moment. Uh, now, this pathway is looking kind of whack, so let's fix that up real quick. There we go, that's looking a little better. And now, it's still looking kind of flat in here, so my solution is just going to be to add, uh, you know, more, more details. I feel like some hay bales would look really cool, just kind of scattered around the place, along with some chests kind of intertwined with those. Let's actually make this maybe a barrel instead. Let's add another one over here, maybe like that. And we'll just do the same on this side and add a couple more. And yeah, that's looking really cool, actually. I love that. And now I think the final thing to do would be to just sprinkle some more grass in here, just because it is still kind of flat, and this will just make, uh, you know, the, the grass look more grassy. I don't know, dude. See, that looks so much better with all of that. That is awesome. I do want to sprinkle a little bit into our pathway here as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's our starter base all done. The only thing we have haven't really gotten around to is uh, the second floor, which I have no idea what I'm going to do with yet. And also we still have the farm to do, which honestly is probably the most boring thing you could ever watch. So I'm going to do this in my own time and uh, hopefully it'll be all done in the second episode. I highly doubt it though. <laughs> but yeah, that just about means that we're at the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.